They're typically in season from June to November. They're weather disasters so destructive that they get their own names, and they can leave billions of dollars worth of damage behind. Here's how hurricanes start, and why scientists say they're becoming more dangerous. The word hurricane is derived from the Taino Native American word for evil spirit of the wind. Hurricanes begin to form when warm, moist air over water begins to rise. The rising air is then replaced by cooler air. In Atlantic hurricanes, the warm air sometimes rises from the African coast, and as the warm air rises, the Earth's rotation helps spin the growing thunderstorms. This rotation is known as the Coriolis effect, and it makes storms spin counterclockwise in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, the storms spin clockwise. As the storm strengthens, the central eye becomes an area of light winds, low pressure, and dry air, surrounded by the strongest winds just outside. Hurricanes originate in the Atlantic Basin, which includes the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and Gulf of Mexico. They can also originate in the eastern and central North Pacific Ocean. A tropical storm becomes a hurricane when there's a strong area of low pressure with rotating thunderstorms close to its center of circulation, and when wind speeds are at least 74 miles per hour. Hurricanes are classified as Category 1 to Category 5, with a Category 5 storm having sustained winds of at least 157 miles per hour. 2020 had 14 hurricanes, the busiest season since 2005, when Hurricane Katrina and 14 other storms developed. Hurricane Katrina was the costliest hurricane on record for the U.S., with damages totaling $125 billion. According to scientists, the Earth's changing climate is making Atlantic hurricanes pack more of a punch. They're rainier, intensifying faster, and lingering longer even after landfall, making them deadlier and more dangerous. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.